<sighs> what is up great people back again with another video it's nasana as some of you guys already know in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to calculate the reactions uh when it comes to uh beam designing and this is bsc n5 i'm sure the thumbnail uh already uh told you that before you got here <laughs> all right so cool uh guys uh this question is very important because uh, you cannot uh, do anything else uh, with regards to beam designing if you don't get this correct, right? Because the bending moments, the shear, uh, the shear forces, everything comes from these uh, first uh, two reactions. So in this video, I'm not going to uh, redraw the, the diagram because I think we can just uh, manipulate this and work with it. Okay, so if you're new to my channel, please care to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't leave without liking or commenting, especially if you've learned something, right? Um, you have to subscribe because I am going to be posting more BSC uh, videos that are going to help you. Uh, so basically, I just focus on the calculations, you know, because sometimes the textbooks and the lecturers uh, can be confusing, right? So yeah. Uh, if you have any relatives, uh, brothers, sisters, cousins, anyone who's doing high school and they're doing pure maths, grade 10 to grade 12, uh, please also share this channel as I will also be helping them. See, I'm actually helping the entire family here, except your parents, of course. Right. So yeah. <laughs> anyways, guys, as I already said, I'm not going to redraw this. Uh, this question is four marks. And um, in the previous video that I did, I explained the UDL. I did explain the UDL and also I did explain uh, what you need to know about the uh, the Bose notation. So guys, over here, uh, this question here was kind of weird. Um, I looked at it and I noticed that over here they're saying 3 meters and then over here they have 1 meter. Like, why are you saying this 1 meter and 3 meters? So are they saying that the entire thing is 4 meters? What are they saying? Right, so I'm going to ignore the one meter because I'm I'm seeing that they have one meter, one meter here. I think something happened. This was supposed to be, to be over here. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore this. Okay, so disclaimer, ignore this, right? And I also had to go through the, 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 the memo of this and I realized that they also ignored it. You know, it makes more sense for us to work with this. We can't be adding, uh, we can't be adding over here because they don't have, they're not dividing that. So we can't be adding. Right, so guys, enough talking, let's get to it. Uh, you need to know where you are starting from. So uh, I like starting from the left-hand side, right? So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start from the left-hand side and now we do that. Uh, we just say moments at RL, okay? So you must be familiar with this. Uh, if you haven't watched uh, my first video, I did a lot of talking, you know, explaining what I'm not gonna explain in this video because in this video, I'm just gonna get straight, cut straight to the chase, okay? Right, so what are we gonna do? We're going to say sub, we're going to look at RL. So we'll say moments at RL. You know, I feel like even though I say that I won't do a lot of talking, I end up just doing that because I think it's in me to explain and make sure that you guys understand. So kind, you know, and polite I am. So we're gonna say moments at RL because I'm gonna start from RL, right? So I'll say moments, uh, moments, moments at, okay, uh, let's just use that at that we use on our email moments at rl right so we're gonna do it like that we'll say moments at rl okay moments at rl uh we stand on rl guys and we look at the other reaction which will be rr we need to look whether it's moving in the clockwise direction or anti-clockwise and how i explained in the previous video that you look at it is you stand on the point where it is acting which should be on that uh, on that day that point where that arrow there touches the load line you stand there and see if it is going in the direction which is the clockwise direction as we can see from that point it is going in the anti-clockwise direction because if you don't remember uh from 12 o'clock to three o'clock guys this is clockwise okay uh, guys you know that okay so that is moving in the anti-clockwise r r is moving in the anti-clockwise what would we'll say we'll say uh sum of the anti-clockwise moments is equal to the sum of the clockwise moments. If you want, you can even just start without looking where RR is and then end up putting it to the side and then shifting the calculations to the left or the right. It's up to you if you like doing a lot of work, okay? Uh, while it's still early, let me erase this. Okay, guys, so we're going to find out all the forces that are acting in the anti-clockwise direction. The first one will be RR. So we'll say the RR, which is the reaction, reaction RR. So instead of forces, you say all the reactions. So RR times 
the distance that it is from RL because we said moments at RL. So we're standing on RL and we need to see the distance between that and RR. Guys, that distance would be 3. Ignore the 1. So it will be 3 plus 1 plus 1. It will be 4. So we'll say RR times 4. Okay, let's find another force that is also going in the anti-clockwise direction. Let's find another force that is going in the anti-clockwise direction. Uh, which force is also going in the anti... So you stand over here. You can see this is going in the anti-clockwise. The UDL, though we would like to say it's going in the anti-clockwise, it's acting downwards. So when you're on RR and you look over here, it's acting downwards, so it's going in the clockwise direction. So guys, that would be the only force that is going in the anti-clockwise. It will be the RR. Okay, RR will be the only force acting in the anti-clockwise. So we're just going to leave it like that and move on to the other forces that are going in the clockwise direction. Okay, uh, let me raise this. Other forces that are going in the clockwise direction, uh, as we can see, um, let's start at the end. So we are standing on RL. Right, standing on RL, we have to look all the way to this point here that we can see. It's going in the clockwise direction because it's acting downwards, right? Downwards, 3 o'clock, I mean 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Uh, that's a clockwise motion. So it's going. we're going to see the magnitude, which is 6, right, times the distance it is from RR, right, times the distance it is from RR. So I say it again, we are ignoring, guys, we are ignoring this one. Right, we are ignoring this one. Let me just block it out. So the distance it is, the 6 kilonewtons is from RR is 3 plus 1, 4, 5 plus, excuse me, plus 1, comma, uh, 1, 1,5, it will be 6, comma, 5, right? So we say 6 times 6, comma, 5 times 6, comma, 5, okay? Uh, let's just put that in the bracket uh, for safety. Plus, let's find another force that is acting downwards. Uh, this is the one we've dealt with that. We have the 12 kilonewtons, as you can see. So we'll say 12 times the distance that 12 is acting away from the RR. So it will be 3 plus 1, isn't it? 3 plus 1 will give us 4, correct? 3 plus 1 will give us 4. And then we close that and we say plus. Guys, now we need to deal with the UDL. The UDL is the, what they say, uniformly distributed load. So we're going to take the 8 kilonewtons. We'll say 8 kilonewtons times, right? Times the, the, the length of that bar. We first we first multiply with the length of that bar right so we'll say times the length of that bar which is three and we also multiply half the distance sorry we also now need to multiply it with half the distance of this beam right guys uh, i'm going to be doing like a series on all these questions that are finding the reactions because i know this one look looks easy so I am going to find those that look complicated so you guys can get an understanding of how to work with the UDL and other forces that are coming behind. Maybe when you have a double bar there, okay? Right, so that's most likely to be the next video. But now we need to multiply it with half the distance, which is 1,5, 1,5 like that, okay? And then we just need to find out what RR is. RR, guys, would be uh, on the right-hand side, we are going to get 1,5. 25 or 123 123 sorry 123 so you can just that's the good thing about this um what you can do is if you don't find this to be a correct answer you can comment down below and i can get back to this video right so find the errors in my videos guys so that i can come back and correct them right so so here yeah, we're going to divide this by four and then rr would now be um if you punch in the calculator guys we don't divide by four why are we dividing by 4? Why did we say 4? Why did we say 4? Let's see. Uh, the distance RR is, it's 5. Didn't we say 5 together? How did I end up writing 4? How did I end up writing 4? Because 3 plus 1 plus 1 is 5. How did men write 4 plus 5? I think someone was already going to say, hey, 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 you didn't put the 5. You put the 4. Ah, luckily I saw it before it was too late. So we're going to say 5V. Now, if we divide those guys, we are going to get 26,6, right? We're going to get 26,6 kilonewtons, right? Uh, you have to do this calculation and also double check, right? So guys, what helps also is to pause the videos and try to do them on your own and then come back to see if you can do it, right? 
I mean, nobody is watching. Nobody's going to laugh at you. You have to practice this until you can get it right. Uh, and get over with college, guys. Get over with college. Uh, you need to leave that place, right? And look for the job. We all have to leave this place. You know, nobody wants to be in school forever. So use these videos to your advantage. Uh, don't wait until the last minute and stuff. I'm not going to uh, to give you guys uh, career advice and and, 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 and and other stuff. Let's just leave it there. Now let's go and find out our moments when we're standing on RR. Okay, so we'll say moments on RR. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom out. Okay, so I can, so everyone, including myself, we can see that uh, that diagram over there. But let me just do this. Okay, guys, now let's go moments on RR. Right, so we're gonna find moments on RR. So we'll say moments at RR like that, and see if we're standing on RR, we have to look across and see what the other reaction is doing. It's acting in the clockwise direction. You can see you put your finger here, you can see that it's going in the clockwise direction. So, what we're gonna say, we're going to say what we're going to say, sum of what clockwise moments because the RL is moving in the clockwise direction. So, sum of clockwise moments is equal to the sum of anti-clockwise moments right so what is the, what is the force it's rl isn't it rl so we're gonna say rl times what times the distance that it is from rr so three ignore the one three plus one plus one five okay now we have it plus five now let's find any other force that is acting in the clockwise direction remember the udls are most likely to be acting in the clockwise direction sometimes it's anti but yeah let's just find out what are the udls doing so we are standing on rr let's look at the udl well this one is going in the anti-clockwise so we ignore that uh any other force that is acting in the clockwise well if you put your finger here you can see that this one is going in the anti-clockwise so we leave that now when you stand over here put your thing if you're focusing on rr if you're standing on moments at rr Put your finger on this force and see it's going downwards. That is the clockwise direction. So, guys, we need to add that force over here and say 6 kilonewtons times the distance that it is from RR is 1,5, guys. So, you need to put the bracket 1,5 like that. And we say it is equal to. Now, we need to get the anti clockwise moments. Luckily, I already highlighted them out. So, let's go and have them. So, uh, some of the anti clockwise moments we are standing on RR. So the anti-clockwise moments, it will be the 12 kilonewtons. So we'll say 12 times the distance it is from RR, it's 1. Oh, okay, uh, times 1, put a bracket there, right, and say plus. Let's find another force that is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. Guys, you find out that the UDL of this bar here. So you're going to multiply the, the, the force, which is 8, the weights, I think. So it will be 8 kilonewtons, right? You need to multiply it with the distance, the length. Okay, first multiply it with the length of that bar. Let's say we're ignoring this one. It will be 4. It will be 3. 3, right? Times. Now we need. Now pay attention to this one. Guys, this, is the, this only happens with the UDL. It only happens with the UDL. And it's important that you know this. It only happens with the UDL. Okay, so what I'm saying now is that for us, we need... What we're gonna do now? We've multiplied the le uh, the 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 weight or the, yes, we've multiplied the magnitude of this force here. Yes, we've multiplied the magnitude of this force with the distance that it is acting from. No, I mean, this is the UDL. Sorry, guys. Uh, we're going to multiply the the force and then the length of that bar, which is three. Now we need to multiply the distance it is acting from R R. Right? The distance it is acting from RR would now be 2, right? 1 plus 1 is 2 plus half of 3. You need to add plus half of 3. So 2 plus half of 3 is 2,5. So I'm just going to say times 4,5 instead. Times 4,5. Right? If you don't understand this part and if you watch the previous video and you also don't understand it, tell me in the comments that I don't understand this. And then we can just make one video dedicated to you on how you can do that. So, guys, now we are here on RL. So, we're going to say, uh, let's just find out what the right-hand side is equal to, right, before we can move to... So, the right-hand side is going to be equal to 96. If you punch this in the calculator, you are going to get 96. And then the left-hand side is going to be, um, if you say, 
6 times 1,5 uh, you are supposed to get uh, 9. So we're going to say minus 9. And then we're going to divide this by 5. And then, guys, we are going to get our RL as... Um, our RL will be 17,4, right? So our RL will be 17,4... Hey, 17,4 kilonewtons. Okay, so let me just write this properly. 17,4... I bought my daughter. 4... Okay, I think that's fine. 17,4 kilonewtons. Yeah. So, guys, this is how you do it. Um, if you have any questions, make the comment section your, uh, your, your favorite, please. All right. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, see you again in the next video. Don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe, and stick around for more. Cheers.